Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to create installation scripts for mods in the OFP game schedule. The first thing that you're going to do is find your game folder and then look for a folder called fwatch data and launch program called add-on installer exe. On your first run you're going to see empty white field. This is where you're going to write your script. Last mod I've added was the Lost Brothers mod, so I'm going to show you how I did it. Or at least part of it. I go to my website. Add on search. I look for the Lost Brothers. And I have to find pack number three. And then I copy the download link. And then I paste the link to the input field. So if I leave it just like that, it's going to trigger the automatic installation. But I don't want that. I want to micromanage the files. So I type unpack at the beginning. And then I press save and test. So this takes me to the testing controls. First thing I need to do is change the name of my mod. So let's name it Lobo. And then I press the play button over here. So I already have this file downloaded to save time. So it's just going to unpack it. Now it's done, it extracted it to the temporary location and to preview it I press the button over here of open efforts TMP extracted. And this is how it looks. There's Lobo add-on pack 3 and inside the usual folder, folders add-ons, bin, data, missions, user missions. Alright, so let's go to add-ons and there's uh, bunch of add-ons and bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to clean it up. I go back to the script input. And I type in command move. That's going to move files from here to the new mod folder. And now the first argument is the source. So I copy the path from here. And I type asterisk PBO, that's going to target all the PBO files. Next argument is destination, so I want to move it to the add-ons folder in the new mod folder. Now save and test again and play. Okay, so I can see that it moved all the PBOs, and now I press open mod folder to see how it looks. There's the add-ons folder, and there are all the PBOs. Great. All right, now I also want to keep all these files, so I'm going to move it, but somewhere else. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the line. And then I type asterisk to select all the files and let's say I'm going to move them to the readme directory. Okay, so they got moved but there are still folders over here. So I want to move them too. I go back to this line and I add forward slash match dir. Okay, and they got moved as well. Let's move along. There's the bin folder, there's the resource bin, and there's config bin, but it's uh, disabled because it's uh, in a subfolder. So this config uh, is standard 196 config, but with some animations replaced, like lock anim mod. I want to activate it, so I'm going to move it to a proper location. So 
So I type in move pin reset pin and I want to move it to the pin folder on the new mod folder. And then we have config backup. Oops, config backup. Config bin. And I move it to the bin folder. Okay, so now we have config and resource in the proper location. Moving on, there's the DTA folder. And similarly to config, uh, there's any PBO, but they are also disabled. So these are optional animations and let's say I want to activate this patrol and PBO. So I have to move it to a proper location. DTA patrol. That's called an PBO. And I move it to DTA. And there we go. That's the TA and your PBO. Just like with the add-ons folder, I want to keep all the files, but somewhere else. So let's say type an asterisk match dir. Then I want to move it to the readme folder. Except in the readme folder, I already have a bunch of stuff. So I don't want to mix it up. I want to move it to a separate uh, folder. So I'm going to create two different subfolders for this. I go back to this line from earlier and say we put it to readme add-ons and then the other stuff to readme DTA. So save and test and then play. Okay, then move everything. Oh, that's because I mindlessly duplicated the line. So let's try again. Okay, now it moved everything. There's readme add-ons and readme DTA. Moving on, there's missions. That's fairly straightforward. I just want to move it here. So I simply type in move lab button pack three missions. And that's going to move the folder. So these are single player missions. And next is user missions. So this is a bunch of demos. I also want to move them just like before, except I want to rename the folder to mission users. So that way Fwatch is going to activate that folder. So the missions will appear in the single player mission editor. So I type in user missions, except the path contains space. So I have to wrap it in quotation marks. And now I don't want to change location. So I type in dot. And then I type in the new name for the folder. So it's missions, missions users. Okay, now we have missions users and it contains all the demos. And this is going to be available in the mission editor. And the last file is readme. So let's just move it to the readme folder. Uh, oops, typed in the wrong path. So it should be this folder. Um, 
so I select abort. I correct the path and then save and test and try again. Okay, so it moved the file and I've got it nicely sorted out. So now let's uh, try how it looks in game. It's called mod lobo. So I launch the game. Uh, I've got an error here because the add-ons require a jump pack. So let's download the jump. Go back to the search. Jump three fixed. I think it is fixed six. It's here. I copy the load link. And just like the first pack, I type unpack and download link. And it's extracted. There's jump tree fixed. And a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to move the add ons. To the add ons folder. All right, and all the remaining stuff we can move to the readme. So I could actually move this folder to the readme. So move jump three fix six to the readme. And it's done. So let's try to launch the game now. Okay, so that error is gone, but there's still an error at the top. That's because there's a syntax error in uh, Loba mod add-ons. So we can fix it with the installer. Because I've did it before, I already know which add-ons are faulty. It's Lobo Ammo. So I'm going to extract it. So I use unpbo command for that. And then I type in the path to that file. So that's global r ammo pbo. Okay, so I got unpacked add-on. And I open config cpp in the text editor. And I have to find the faulty line. So the error was 0 0.0, .0 Actually, we can just find it uh, all occurrences. So there are three faulty lines. There, there is one dot too many. This is not a correct number. And we can fix it with the installer. So to edit a text file, I use edit command and then I type in uh, path to the add-on and path to the text file I want to edit. Config cpp and the next is line number, so that's 927. And then the line I want to replace it with. Okay, next is 1002. Well, oh, I forgot to fix it. All right, so I've got all these three lines fixed and now I have to pack, pack it back. So I just type make PBO and without any arguments, this is just going to 
pack the folder that was unpacked recently. So this one. Also, it's going to delete the source uh, to keep things clean, but I want to keep the source, so I type in forward slash keep source. So we can check if it was modified properly. Okay, so let's see now. I search for the error. The, there are no more occurrences. Cool. Okay, this is not the only faulty add-on. There's another one called Lobo Ammo. Where is it? Here it is. So I do do it the same way. Everything fixed, so let's check in game. And the error is gone. Let's see if the missions are where they are. So these are single player missions. And the mission editor missions. There they are. All right, everything is fine. So now I go to my website, game schedule, add a new mod, and I type in the name of my mod, which is Lobo, and description. I'm going to add a password so that it's uh, hidden from the public. Test mod. Installation script I can just copy from here. And then download size. I can take the number from here, so it's 382 megabytes. And add a new mod. Okay, so I've got my mod here. Got the installation here. This is my installation script. If you go look at the original one, there's a bit more stuff in there. Additional packs so that it's more complete. So this is how we add a mod to the website. So now other people can download it. We can actually test it. No, I can't because there's no menu here. Download mods. Search, test mode. Oh, not search. Show private modes. I need to type in test mode. And then I look for mod. There's, there's the mod we just added. Okay, so that's how you do it. I also wanted to talk about more about the installer interface. So on the top you've got three tabs. There's the lock section, which tells me what the installer has done so far. There's the testing section, where I control the process. And there's the edit script section, where I write the script. So in the testing section, on the top right, I've got controls. This button will execute all commands until the end. This will execute the current command. And this will go back to the previous.
So I can go back and forth. I'm going to show you. So when I go back, the changes are reverted. And this button will revert everything to the beginning. So in the beginning, the, my mod folder doesn't exist yet. So it goes back to the game directory. Then we have uh, buttons that open the folders. You already know them. Then we've got a mod name. So this determines where the mod is going to be installed, but it's also important for the installer in two cases, for the move command and for the auto installation. So I'm going to show you how it is important. So let's say I name my mod Lobo Addon Pack 3. And then I'm going to move Lobo Addon Pack 3. So we've got our extracted folder with all the stuff. So now I'm going to move it. And the entire thing was moved to the game folder. So if the folder that you want to move has the same name as the mod you're installing, then it's going to get moved to the game folder. So what if the name was different? Let's say it was called Lobo Addon Pack 0. Okay, so now Star is going to create a folder called Lobo Addon Pack 0, so like our mod name. And then it's going to move inside Lobo Addon Pack 3 with all the stuff. So by default, it moves stuff inside the mod folder. Now there's also their name. So if you want to install to a different directory than the mod name, so let's say our mod is Lobo Addon Pack 3, but we want to install it to a folder called AAA. So now we have mod folder called AA, and inside we have got all the subfolders. So this option is useful when you already have this mod, but you want to test its installation, so you want to install it to a different directory. And then we have game version. This is useful for testing uh, conditions, like we can write uh, if version 196, if version 199. Next, we've got a list of commands here. The command that's going to be executed is emboldened. So that's the first one. And on the bottom text, show me how many there are commands. There are 27. And the installer is currently on command on the first command. And the numbers on the left indicate the line number where it is in the installation script. So if I click on it, I'm going to see details about this command. So there's the source argument, destination. It's going to unpack from FHTMP where it downloaded. It's going to unpack it to FHTMP extracted. If there's a move command, the source is going to be extracted folder. And the destination is going to be game directory. 
maybe a different one, efforts to be extracted, and then it's going to move it to add-ons. There's also, if there's a link, it also shows me the uh, list of links. There can be actually more than one link. And just to show you, I'll go back to the download page, I copy another link, then I paste it in the new line, and then I wrap the links in brackets. So now I press save and test. And you can see here that there are two links. So if one fails, then the installer will continue download from the second one. So this is a backup. The files have to be identical. What else do we have here? Uh, there's the button show in script. So this will show me where this line is in the uh, text input. So I can easily find it. There's open documentation, so this links to, my, to the documentation. So I can read details about this command. There's also a button jump to this step, so I can make the installer start from here. So it skipped all that stuff. And if we use it to jump backwards, it's going to revert all the changes. And there's also total download size, so that's the sum of all the downloads. In the edit script section, we've got buttons on the bottom, so there's save and test. So when I click save, the script is going to be saved to fwatch data add-on installer test txt. So I can open it in a custom editor. And if I want to modify it, then I press reload file button to import the changes. So there's one important thing you need to know about save and test. I'm going to show you. If I modify something earlier, like here, for example, and I press save and test, then the installer will go back to the last common point. So you can see it went from here to here and it reverted all these changes. And now the installation will start from the point where I made the edit. Next, we have a link to the documentation. There's option convert download link. It works the same way as on the website. So I have a, if I have a link to Google Drive, I paste it here and it will convert it so that the installer can use it. And finally, there's insert DTA template. So that's useful for re replacing the original models and textures. This code is going to uh, take the data PBO from your game and unpack it to the mod folder. And then it's going to move their new textures. You'll have to edit the path here. And then it's going to pack it back. And do the same with the data 3D PBO. So because the location of these add-ons uh, is different for version 196 and 199, there is a condition here. So for 196, it's going to execute this. And for 199, it's going to execute this. You also have options here, Retry and Abort, which become enabled when necessary, when you make a mistake. And I think that's it. So 
So thanks for watching and happy modding.